हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सेज दैट डिटरमिन द फोर्स पी डिटरमिन द फोर्स पी नीडेड टू पुल द 50 के रोलर ओवर द स्मूथ स्टेप सो वी नीड टू फाइंड दिस फोर्स पी इन ऑर्डर टू मूव दिस रोलर ओवर दिस स्मूथ स्टेप सो so we have to find the this p force that which will which will pull this 50 kg uh, roller over this step so in the free body diagram this edge of the step this corner of the step will apply the force on this roller in the upward direction like this so let's say that we have uh the support reaction at this particular point let's say this is b and the weight of the roller is going to act vertically downward and the weight is 50 times 9.81 since the mass is 50 kg so this will give us 490.5 degrees and here we are given that this theta equals to 30 degrees so now we can find this p if we apply the summation of moment about point b that will be equals to zero the summation of moment about point b this will be equals to zero since uh for p just to initiate just to roll this uh just to pull this roller over the smooth step before that the roller will be in equilibrium so we can apply the equilibrium condition and the summation of moment at that particular instant will about point b will be equals to zero when this roller will just uh, raise over this step so the surface there will be no contact with this surface so that is why there will be no uh, reaction force or there will be no normal force applied by the surface at this particular point so we are not going to consider that uh, normal force of the surface since we are considering that this uh, roller is just on the verge of uh, moving right so it is not in the contact with the surface at that particular instant So now to apply the summation of moment about point B, we have to resolve uh, this P force. So it will have two components. It will have one component in this direction. This one will be the cos component. This one will be P cos of theta, and theta is thirty degrees. And similarly, this P will have one component in the upward direction like this, and this component will be the sine component. Let me keep it here. so this is p sin of 30 degrees so now as we know that the line of friction of this b will pass through that center of the roller and let me draw a vertical line here so the radius of uh, this roller is 300 mm or 300 divided by 1000 is 0.3 and the height of the step is 50 mm so now if i draw a horizontal line here then this height this height is 300 minus 50 so this is 250 and 250 divided by 1000 is 0.25 so we can say that this small height is 0.25 meters this height is 0.25 meters and this is the radius which is 300 mm or 0.3 meters so let me write that this is 0.3 uh 0.3 this is 0.3 so we have let me draw that triangle here so we have 0.3 this is 0.25 this is 0.3 this is 0.25 and we can find this how to find this uh, we can apply the pythagoras theorem let's say this is x so we can say that 0.3 square is equal to x square plus 0.25 square and from this we can say that x is equal to 0.3 square minus 0.25 square under the square root so this is square root 0.3 square minus 0.25 square this gives us 0.166 approximately this x is equal to 0.166 meters so now to apply the summation of moment about point b equals to 0 so as we can see 
that this cos component of the P is going to produce the uh, counterclockwise moment about this point B. So I will write plus P cos of 30 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point B is this distance which is 0 0.25 meters. So 0 0.25 Similarly, this sine component of P is going to produce the counterclockwise moment. So we will write plus P sine of 30 and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point B is this small distance which is 0 0.166. Uh, this is 0 0.166 meters. And similarly, the weight is going to produce the clockwise moment about this point B. So we will write minus 490.5 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point B is this distance which is 0 0.166. So 0 0.166 and this is equal to 0. This force, uh, this B is passing through this point B. It's not going to produce the moment about this point B. So now we can write this equation if we take this P common from both the terms so we will have the equation like this let me write it like this and if i bring this to the other side of equation it will become positive so we will have this is equal to let me write that we will have the equation like this and now let's find this this uh, term in brackets so this is cos of 30 or we can say 0 0.25 cos of 30 plus 0 0.166 sine of 30. This gives us 0 0.2995 or we can say that this is 0 0.3p approximately and this is equal to 490.5 into 0 0.166 and p is equal to 490.5 0 0.166 divided by 0 0.3 so this is 490.5 multiplied by 0 0.166 divided by 0 0.3 so p equals to 271.41 newtons so now this is that force p which will uh, roll over uh, which will pull this roller over this step so we required we need to apply 271.41 newton force at this particular point at an angle of 30 degrees